Stephen, uh, a fresh challenge for you with Knotts. How excited are you about this player coach role? Yeah, very excited. It's obviously something that I, I feel passionately about and I'm passionately about that I can you know, impact on, on people and players. Um, you know, a nice transition from being captain for, for so long, still in sort of a leadership role and helping, um, you know, hopefully players develop, but also keeping one eye on captain in the second team. And if needed by Hass or Joe, then, you know, I'll be on hand to, to put my hand forward. But yeah, my main aim obviously is to definitely from now till probably we go away in, in March um, to get stuck into the coaching. And I think one of the best things is that what's been quite nice is that we've had a couple of coaches away. So I've had to literally, you know, get stuck in and, and, and do quite a lot of work. So I've enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's been a bit of a sink or swim thing in that sense. So that responsibility has been, been helpful, has it? Yeah, well, yeah. And, you know, I had no option, really. Uh, we knew Pete was going away to um, the Big Bash and Frankie's away with uh, England 19s. Uh, so myself bought Shiny and then we've had, you know, help off, off Woody and, um, and different people coming in helping, um, you know, flicking at the lads, which has been, it's been brilliant. Um, but no, it's, it's been something that obviously I only um, made the decision and, and got offered the opportunity a few weeks ago. Um, so I had to think about it a little bit and speak to my wife at, at length. Um, but something that, you know, ultimately that I feel really passionately about and I think it was the right time to make the transition. You've done some coaching in the last few summers and winters as well. When did that bug start to bite? Uh, I think it's been there for a few years, like probably, you know, working so close with Pete as captain, you know, seeing how he goes about his business and the way that he gets a group of people together, a group of coaching staff really, you know, attracted me to wanting to do something. Um, but ultimately, you have to be OK at it as well. You know, I've been very, very lucky, firstly, to get the opportunity with uh, Andy Flower in, in the T10 with Delhi Bulls uh, and then you know very lucky again he asked me to to go on board with the Rockets this year in in the 100 um, yeah and then when Pete um, I sat down with Pete and Mick in my pre-season uh, pre appraisal sort of planning for the winter um, it was a different conversation than what I expected but you know when I sat back and thought about it I thought it was it was great for both parties and I feel very lucky because not a lot of people get that opportunity. So, you know, I've got a lot, uh, Mick and Pete especially, to thank for, for giving me the opportunity. You know, and hopefully it's something that I can bring something um, to the team and the squad and ultimately to help people get better and, and make sure that our performances improve on the field. When you work with coaches of the, the calibre of Pete and, and Andy Flower, what are, the, what are the kinds of things you see that you want to pick up on in, in your coaching? Well, I think the ambition to be the best that they can be. Um, to win trophies, which is ultimately what you get judged on. Um, but I think bringing the enjoyment factor, um, two very different coaches, two very good coaches to work with. Um, one has gone from England coach to uh, Andy, I'm on about here, to being you know, a worldwide franchise coach. Pete, still very much a head county coach, dipping into franchise cricket. Um, you know, and tapping into that knowledge um, has been you know, it's been something that money can't buy for me. So, you know, hopefully I'll take little bits, but at the same time, I think you have to do it your way and hopefully my ways people will enjoy. And, and there will be time with the, the second 11 as well. Um, similar role, I guess, in many ways to how Peter Trigo spent the end of his career at Knotts. How useful was he when you were captain, having that sort of responsibility over the second team? Yeah, it was something that obviously myself and, and Pete Moores at the time spoke about when we were looking to sign Triggs. We had, you know, we wanted him first and foremost to be available for selection because he was a quality cricketer. But I think it just sort of found the role found him um, and he enjoyed it. He ran his pirate ship, as he called it. Um, but it's something that I, I, you know, I want to develop players. I, I'm, I've obviously been here a very long time now and I feel very passionate about the club getting to a stage where we're challenging for Division One in the championship and competing in both white ball trophies. Um, so if I can, you know, help along that way, you know, this is a great three year period for me to, to, to learn about coaching, but also keep helping people on the field because I feel that my experience as captain for six years is obviously going to have an impact on how I, I expect people to play in the second team and hopefully we can drive that. And I'll, I'll work closely with Haas, you know, both on and off the field. We've had a great relationship since he's been vice captain um, and I'm sure that will continue. And what are the kinds of things you need, do you think, to be able to make that step from, from second team to first team pretty seamlessly as a player? Uh, it's, it's a very good question. Uh, I suppose the belief of, of, you know, going up performing against people who might, you might have seen on telly. So I remember when I first started playing against people at Harmson, who had just played in the Ashes, um, 
And I suppose once you get over that and, and realise it's a name on the back and a, and a cricket ball coming down at you, um, you know, and I suppose that first exposure is obviously going to be nerve wracking. So we've got a lot of young players coming through who we want to develop and get into the first team if and when they're ready. Um, but we've also got a very strong first team as well, so it's going to be hard to break into. But I suppose that's mine, along with Franksy's job, to make sure that if and when they're called upon from the second team, that they're in the best place possible to go and deliver on, on the big stage. And what this also gives you, I guess, is a chance to extend your association with Knots into 15 years or so. Yeah, I think probably a bit longer, actually. Um, so, yeah, I love the place. Um, and as I said earlier, look, I'm, I'm really... I realise that not everybody gets this opportunity and, you know, some people go out of the game and I had one year left on my playing contract, you know, and the security of three years, obviously, from, from my point of view, was very attractive. Um, and at the same time, transitioning into that player coach role will help me, I think, going in the future. But, you know, I feel very fortunate to be given this opportunity.